Hello, everyone, I am the after sales engineer of Hitech. Next, I will explain the operation tutorial of this SUP22C system cleaning machine for you. Electricity We use a 5 wire 3 phase 380V voltage, which consists of 3 live wires, 1 neutral wire, and 1 ground wire. Connect electricity Firstly, find position of live wire, zero wire, and ground wire on breaker. Connecting correspondingly with those wires we have. After that, check again if wire number position is installed accurately. Gas The gas pressure gauge is used as a flow meter. Gas pressure in the gas tube should be greater than 5 bar or more. When system is working, Gas flow should be greater than 15 liters the air inlet with a gas tube of outer 6 inner 4. When connecting the gas tube, squeeze it inward, check whether it is firmly connected after hearing a noise, confirm again it cannot be pulled out. Overall structure The cleaning equipment is mainly composed of laser, water cooler, and SU-22C control system. All electric components are UL listed components. The system is with CSA certification available. Water tank filling and maintenance. Before using, we must fill the water tank with distilled water. Here is the water injection port. At the first time it is needed to add water to yellow area. When system is working, water level line should be in upper position of green area. Please noted that in the case of using at winter, if local temperature is below 0 degrees Celsius, it must add antifreeze of ratio 710 THS of water, 310 THS of antifreeze. The water must be distilled or purified. In of case frequent using, it is necessary to replace water between 1 to 2 months. If the system doesn't work for long time, please drain the water in time. System turn on. Firstly, turn on the power switch. Then turn on the general supply. Check whether the chiller is switched on, click start button. When blue light flashes it means that the chiller starts to work. Turn on the emergency stop, scan head, controller, fiber laser in turn, then screen lights up. Turn on the laser source. Firstly, unlock with the key, then wait for around 30s, after hearing a beeping, then press the start button, when it lights up as red, it indicates that laser on is completed. This option is the frequency of sedation, which is 50 Hz, which basically does not need to be changed. This option is the width of the cleaning, our cleaning width is between 10 mm and 300 mm. This option is the power of the laser, usually in the case of our cleaning does not affect the material, with about 70% of the power. This option is the control ratio, 100%, under normal circumstances do not require customer adjustment. This option is the frequency of the laser, which is 2000 Hz, and this also does not need to be adjusted. 
This option is laser enable, after we turn on the laser, before the light out, turn this enable on to press the light out button to light out. This option is the light mode, our light mode is generally a line or point. This option is a safety lock and is a feature that connects to the gun head. This option is the interface for adjusting the process, in which we can modify the required parameters. This option is the cleaning width and can be modified as required. This option is the frequency of the gun head, which usually does not need to be changed. This option is laser power. This option is the possession ratio. This option is laser frequency of. This option is a weakening of the clean straight edge, which usually does not need to be adjusted. This is our setup screen. The password is 123456. These are some of our internal parameters, which we usually do not recommend customers to change. The only thing that needs to be changed is our language, and we have about 18 languages. This is some of our alarm signals, such as laser alarm, water cooler alarm, air pressure alarm. This is our monitoring interface, we can view some parameters inside the cabinet information. Welding demonstration. When the cleaning milling is finished, seal the nozzle with tape in time to prevent dust from entering. If no doing like that, the dust will go inside of the laser head, then damage the protective lens, focus lens, and other lens step by step. Finally damage the QBH head. So it is important to seal after using every time. There are three normal issues of protective lens burnt and the related reasons. The first one is damage protective lens due to red light offset. The second is damage protective lens due to no seal the nozzle in time after using, dust into and lens burnt. The third one is damage protective lens due to without pass into the gas. If protective lens or other lens damaged, in this position the red light will flash. When system no light out, laser head no damage, we have to check whether temperature of water chiller is normal, check whether laser source alarm light turns red, if yes, it means laser alarm. This SUP22C system cleaning machine operation tutorial instruction is complete. If you have any other after-sales problems, please contact our HG after-sales engineers and we will help you solve them.